Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and today we are going to draw some macaroons in pinks and slight purples. I went ahead and pulled out a card from the um, color cube and I didn't, I don't really want to draw champagne, but I wanted to use this palette and I just noticed that my nails match. That wasn't purposeful. <laughs> The pink configuration. It, it's everywhere. Um, I wanted to use this palette, but I really didn't want to draw glass or this. I, I wasn't feeling this. I think it's pretty. I like the softness of it. Um, but I just wasn't feeling the vibe. But I was feeling this vibe. These pinks. And considering it's the heart month, you know, the month of love, I thought we'd just leave this over here for inspiration and guidance on our colors. I went ahead and grabbed my Castle Arts pencil cup that is watercolor pencils. This is my reds and purples and pinks. And I went ahead and pulled out the ones that most matched the card. We have Opera Rose, which is what this is. The I have out my tube of Holbein Quinacridone Opera Rose color, which is in that pot right there. Opera Rose, and then we have Lake or Violet Lake Light, which is kind of this color right here, which is Quinn. That one is Quinacridone Violet. No, that one's Quinacridone Violet. That one's Cobalt Violet, Dioxazine Purple, and Quinacridone Rose, all in M. Graham. And then we have Mauve for the in here situation and then we have the deep purple color it says deep purple but it's more of a it's more of a maroon it's more of a quinacridone color that quinacridone violet is that what that is yeah and then I have out pink ro or rose pink 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 okay now I went ahead and sketched out some macaroons in pink right here Okay, get a little very light with the colored pencil just to, just to get them down and then some heart shaped ones as well. We'll see how this turns out. I think I have the perspective a little skewed but that's okay. But there's little heart candies all around and white and pinks. So I thought we'd give these a whirl. I'm feeling it. I'm going to Bounce from one to one because we're going to need to wait for sections to dry. So part of the reason why I'm doing two because you got to wait for one to dry and then do the other one and back and well we're going to be going back and forth. Now I think yeah I, I want to do just a light glaze of pink. Uh-oh, that pencil disappeared a little bit. That's all right. Maybe we'll wet the back of these as well so that they stick to the table. And they don't have to be drenched, but this way they won't bow. Whoops, got some blue on there. Oh, well. They won't bow so much if you wet the back. See, I tried drawing on this side. Messed it all up. Flipped it over. <laughs> Where is this side? And then wet this part, and we're gonna drop in some background color. It's super light, nothing crazy, just a little bit of interest on the page, like so. Maybe some purples out towards the edge. Just maybe like that. Just kind of let it swim around. I like that this one isn't going all the way to the edge of the page and it's got good textures. I dig it. I dig it. Just drop in some color like that. Okay. I'm just going to let it soak in a little bit. I want it to be nice and muted. And then 
Once this gets done soaking in, I actually want this guy to be fairly light. This one's supposed to be close to white. This macaron right here. There, plucked it right out. And there was a heart on this one. There it is. That was white. <coughs> Do we like this? I mean, it's pretty, right? Nice start. I kind of dig it. I wonder if the watercolor pencils, if they'll move if we put them on here right now. Let's try it. Not a lot. It's pretty wet, too. And I, I haven't played with watercolor pencils extensively yet. So you, this is like a first go kind of thing. In here and drop in some textures and maybe some of our big fuzz on that. I don't know why there's always a fuzz on this paintbrush. It's irritating. This one I think I want to be a little more purpley. I'm just playing with color on these. I'm not too stressed about um it might be too much water. We'll just pop that back. Oh, that picked up the color pencil. Hey! <laughs> Interesting. Or maybe I should dry these real quick so that we can get to work on on the actual. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna come in here with this super pale one. So I want this top one to be a soft color. I don't want to damage the paper though. That's nice, right? Give, give us a little, little start. Can you see it? Yeah. And I think I'd like this color to be on this one as well. This one's close to white, but it's got some cream tint to it. So, do that. Maybe dip it in water. You can dip your color pencils in water. Just try not to get the wood part of them um, too wet because. It might, over time, swell and ruin your pencil. If you're careful with, and do like mostly just the tip, should be alright. Okay, I think I'm damaging the paper a little bit. That's alright. What's that one? Locked back in. I lost a lot of the lines on this one. Might have to redraw that one all together. I'm going to dry it, the paper and see if that is a true thing. I'll edit this part out, you guys. They're not completely dry, but they're dry enough to get, keep, to get working on the softness of these. Alright, I want this bottom one. 
getting more color, more colorless water. More of a magenta color, like that. Carry away with the shape there. That's alright. We can blot. We can always blot. If you get a shape going that you weren't intending. Ooh, textures, nice. I do like textures. Like that, okay. That one's purple blobby. Very blobby purpular one. Right there. And then above it is going to be a brighter, brighter pink one. Should we go super bright? I think so. We're getting crazy. We're doing it. There we go. That middle section in there. Super bright, vibrant, like almost unnecessarily silly bright. It's a little. A little too much right there. Yeah, we'll soften that like that. I take it. Okay, and then this top one was more muted and soft. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a thin glaze over this one like that. Picked up that colored pencil a little bit, which is nice too. Mixed it right in. I do it. Okay, and this this one here is going to be bright pink as well. I think we might tone it down a little bit with some of that. Um, what color is that again? This one, cobalt, cobalt, purple, violet, cobalt, violet. I'm trying to brush a little bit, pick up some color, come in here and just dot it on the cakes like that. What was that? Okay. Just for interest, I'm going to put it on this bottom one. This is Quinn Rose right here by M. Graham. Mixing on the paper with that um, cobalt <coughs> co violet. Which is nice. It's pretty. Let that bleed around a bit. Okay, let's move over here. I found our. I can see the shape now of our pale pink heart. Here's the cake. Right. Mm, it's like this. It's hard to see the lines. 
There we go. That's a little better. Kind of blend it out a little bit. It's a little, maybe not. Maybe I'll just get right in there. Get it, get it done. Like that. Then we have the frosting bits. I think it's frosting, or it might be just where the cake gets p broken or poof. It looked like frosting to me before I took a real good look at them. And now it just looks like the cakes kind of get a ruffly bit on them. Anybody out there who knows anything about these these lovely little cakes can drop in the comments below. Supposed to be white, but it doesn't read as white at all. We'll just do that. Very subtle. Oh wait, this one's not so subtle. That hot pink in there is crazy, right? This one. We're gonna do it, might as well do it. Get that texturing on. This one's a little wonky shaped too. I don't know what I did to it. This one got messed up in the baking process. That's what happened. That's what happened. Poor thing. <laughs> Okay, dioxazine purple. Hopefully. Bits of dirt right there. It's dark right there. And then there's a shadow underneath. And then there's a shadow underneath this one as well. That helps. That helps a little bit. I do wish I had like a, a gray color. I'm trying to see if I find, mix a bunch of these together it'll read more gray. I'm just gonna drop it in. 
see what happens. Okay. And down here. Underneath these guys. There's a shadow as well. Going out like that. I mean, not how I wanted to spend my evening, but it's not terrible. I don't think I messed this part up right here. Let's see if it'll let me pick that up. Yep, nice. There we go. That shape is back. I like it. Let's put a little more. Kind of temper that hot pink a little bit. Yeah, if I take that, carry it on up here. And then, light. And our frosting areas. Alright. Just throw me all off. Alright. <clears throat> I feel like I need a brush that has a firmer point. What's this one? Those were my um, Princeton Neptune round number 8 and 18 that I normally use. This is a Robert Simmons Sapphire round number 6. It has a bit more snap. It's firmer. So it gives me a little bit more control. As we come in here, and we paint in all of our candy hearts that are kind of floating around on the surface of the table. I feel like I have too much water in that mix. Where's that rose? I just realized I've been super quiet. I don't really feel like drunk painting these. I think that's part of the reason why. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not quite sure why. Because it's not my normal. I'd rather paint animals or, you know, cute things. I don't really paint food that much. I'd rather draw food than paint food. Is that weird? Probably. Well, it's alright. I'm used to being weird. It's kind of my thing. Do I like the little hearts everywhere? Well, I'm gonna roll with it. I don't particularly like the little hearts everywhere. Oh, we're gonna roll with it. I mean, it's pretty. It's cute. Um, I think I'm gonna get in on top of these with 
This little one, this white one has like sprinkles in, in the cupcake. So we're going to go ahead and dot those in right now. Like that. Anybody else not, not ever like draw anything and then you try to practice doing it and you're like, I don't like it. Because <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Grab some purple. Carried away with it. Pick it up. Try again. There we go. That's a little better. Shadow on that candy there. A little shadow underneath this one. I kind of don't like that hard line right there. It's bugging me. That's fine. I'll put candy over the top of it. I didn't think about it when I was doing this, but uh, all the little white hearts that are in the reference photo, I don't know how, how I would convey them at this point without grabbing like the bleed proof white. So instead of white ones, we'll go ahead and put purpley ones in. Alright, why not? I'm a big heart kind of person. I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day either. Anybody else out there not really celebrate the holiday? Not for any like real reason. I just don't. It's never been a big priority. I feel like it should be I don't know. I guess I feel like you should always treat your person with love and respect, not just, not just on the day, you know? I guess that's how I can convey the white ones. Just a shadow. Like that. I think that's enough, I think that's enough sprinkled hearts. Although I do feel like that one dark purple one out there on its own needs a friend somewhere. So, go ahead and make that one a little dark purple or darker. <clears throat> this smudge right here is bugging me. There we go. All right, this hot mess. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. <laughs> it's a crazy mess right now. It's not quite dry yet either. Maybe we should dry them again real quick and then grab the pencils and go over the top and see if we can't make it. this. This one's kind of alright. I like the softness and I feel like if we got the colored pencils on top we could make it pop, but I don't know if we'll be able to save that one. This, this one's kind of, it's kind of a disaster actually. Maybe if I blot some of the paint up it'll help us. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, let's put the paintbrush down. And pink is not a color that I use a lot either, so... Alright. Okay. That'll do. Alright, let's see about... Let's see about... 
sample this one real quick. Kind of around like that. Maybe that's what's wrong with me tonight. I just want to draw. I don't feel like painting. Perhaps that's my issue. Just not feeling painterly tonight. Definition there. Alright. Let's get this mauve one in here and see. I'm going to spin this a bit. See if this doesn't. Oh, well, here we go. There's that dark shadow where it's touching the surface of the table. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. I even go ahead and just drop in a solid line like that. Yeah, that helps. That helps a lot. Okay. And this guy. Yeah, that perspective is really off. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Pretty sure this video is a bust. Can't win them all. <laughs> yeah, I think I better just go to bed and maybe try again tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna leave these. I'm gonna leave these alone. Maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Hi guys, it is the next morning, and it is what time is it? Five thirty in the morning. I've got a fresh cup of coffee with a bit of fuzz, because you know, what's coffee without a touch of fuzz in it? <laughs> so, good morning. Mm. Happy Wednesday. It is February 8th. We're getting closer to heart day, right? Let's see if we can save these. My computer's talking to me. Hush your lips. We're busy over here creating a mess with watercolor. I'm coming to. Now that it's the next day. I'm kind of really liking this one. It's cute. This one I'm not sure if we can save, but we're going to try. This one, where's that purple? I thought I had purple purple, but this will have to do. I think if we just come in and give the little candy hearts a little shadowing. Where are my glasses? Hold on, I need my glasses. <laughs> Found them. They were in the bedroom. Okay. Moving right along. Maybe give each of the candy hearts a little Tabletop. Oops, got a little carried away with that one, that's alright. Shadow situation. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to 
soften this berry color out a little bit. Now that it's the next day, I'm thinking, whoa. Got carried away. I think my light's leaning on my table again. Come in here and kind of soften out that. I'll come over you again. What were you? Deep purple. It doesn't look like a deep purple to me, but that's alright. Kind of just soften this out like that. Oh, that's cuter, right? It's very subtle. All these soft, soft colors together. Like that. Okay, we'll come up here. Get some form on this guy. Colored pencil on top of watercolor is actually a lot of fun. Um, and if you're using watercolor pencil on top of watercolor and you make a mistake or a boo-boo that you don't really care for, you can go in and uh, just wash it out and pick it up. Which is nice. I'm not really digging this hard line right here at all. If I can soften that out. Let's put a little coat of this on here. And I think... I think I'd like to soften that out a bit. Just a little scrubby scrub on it where it's a super hard line. I'm really digging that super hard line right there. There we go. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. actually have a bit of shine right here. Come in with the brush and just pick that out like that. Give it a hard line again though. Just blend that down. There we go. That's a little better. Alright. See, sometimes it just takes 
walking away, right? This bit in here. Like that. And then I'd like to super zip that out and then kinda much water. Let's come in and soften out some of that stuff we did yesterday. Or last night just before bed, actually. It's only been a few hours. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with that one. It's as good as it's getting. <coughs> The little white one next to it isn't bad. I feel like it needs a glaze of like pale, pale pink or something. Maybe we'll do that. Come in and just put a soft, soft glaze over the top. Gently, so we don't. Pick up the stuff that's underneath. Like that. Come down here and get this guy in a little more solidly like that. Tap, 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 tap through here. Oh, I don't know what color we use. I feel like I need. <coughs> An accent color, like a pop of green, would be cool in here. Or a deep, a deep, deep, deep purple. Maybe we could go with a little bit of. Oh, too much. Make some from there and pull it down here. That's dioxazine. How's that? And my battery's going to die on my camera. Of course it is. Of course it is. Don't be silly. Dioxazine line right here. Right here. Oh yeah, that's nice. That pops them right off the page. And maybe we'll do a little dioxazine shadow. Just a gentle one. Touch. Just a touch. On the edges. Like that. And then we're going to call this one good. Because at this point if I keep fussing with it. And picking at it and picking at it. It's just going to turn into a muddy mess. My instinct is to just start over. But... That one got a little misshapen, but it's alright. Depth right there, and a little more depth right here. Okay. 
Okay, battery's replaced. How's it going to my last little deep shadow? Right there. All right, I'm gonna stop fussing with that one. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Scooch it over. Let's see if we can fix this a little bit, and then we'll be done. All right. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. Let's turn this a little. Flatten it with my hand. Come in here. And also, the paper is really dry now, so maybe I can, maybe I can salvage this a little bit. Maybe. Kind of scrubbing that hard line right there and making it blend up. And we'll get in a little bit of there we go. We'll come in here and put that in a solid line of frosting and then a little bit of this action happening. Like that. Okay. There's that one. I like the color of this one. I think that's pretty. Needs a little bit of detailing. Oh, it's coming in. Not dark enough. Very subtle. Okay. Come on with a little dioxazine. It's too wet. It's just gonna make this a wet mess again. Maybe that's my problem yesterday. I was using way too much water again. Big surprise, right? Come in and do a little glaze over the top of this guy. Actually, there's a shine on the top of this one. Right through here. Can I get that to pick up? I kind of damaged the paper. There we go. And then... Um, Kind of ruined the color of this with the dark scene, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll just blend that out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to save this one the way I want to, but that's alright. Can't win them all, right? 
Who's that one? Okay. Coming down here. Just get some. Actually, a pretty dark line in between them. Maybe that's part of the problem. I got no contrast going on. Everything seems seem. All my values were the same. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks like it's stacked. And then and a little one right here where it's actually touching the surface of the table. touches of lines in here and in here like that. Just getting a little more illustrative of it. Il wow, words are hard. Illustrative at this point. That's all right. More illustrative than realistic. Nothing wrong with that though. Oh, different shadows. Some of those different shadows are pretty dark actually. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in. Maybe that will help as well. It's like little air pockets where the cakes are. Oh, because they're super fluffy, I would imagine. I've actually never had a macaroon. I don't believe. Are they delicious? They seem to be very popular. They're fun to ping. They're a great shape. Alright, let's finish up this guy down here. Let's get his dark dark sand. Where's his frosting line? I totally lost that. Come in here and just, we'll just drop it in. There. Yeah, it can live right there. Why not? Not all of them are perfect either. Some of them are a little wonky. Got a little more shadowing there. Hold this guy down a bit. Make them feel a little more roundy. Like that. Perfect. All right, Anna, I think I might actually be saving this a little bit. <laughs> Nice. See how patience can do? Jeez. I just needed to relax and let it go. So, the lesson is, I suppose, <clears throat> I guess I should learn one, right? <laughs> mm. Maybe the coffee's kicking in. Lesson is, um, Don't be in such a hurry to give up on a painting. Give it a chance, maybe. Maybe walk away and come back to it, right? And I know this, but when you're feeling emotional about a piece, even a silly little practice piece like this, and you're feeling like things aren't working out the way you wish they would, maybe go to bed. <laughs> Maybe, maybe just go to bed, get some good sleep, and come back to it the next day with fresh eyes and a fresh, fresh perspective. Too much water. It's okay that I'm liking that color. Let's give it a little glaze. 
is. Not the whole thing. We need to leave a little shine somewhere. There, I like it. Okay, there's that one. It's a lot of pink and purple, I tell you what. Alright, let's let's get this guy in and then we'll be all done. Let's pull this color down like this. Like so. Soften that out. Pull it up this way. Oh, that color, that line of color, it's too bold. This one's too bold still too, but I'm going to leave it alone. Our line of frosting, Where's, we lost that too. It's right about here. Got all of our little divots and bumps and stuff and whatnot happening. Okay, let's get this part in. But there's a shine on this one, so drop that in there like that. Our divots. Okay, I'm gonna soften that edge. So we're gonna gently, without too much pressure, just kind of pull it out, pull it out. And if you put too much pressure on, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the, the color underneath, and I don't want to do that. All right. Let's our dioxazine now and get in some of our, this one's not going to be that great. I've got too much going on on it, I think. Too much. Too much. Get a little shadowing here to get that form going will help. Like that. Okay. It's a little better. Alright, and then a little shadow on the bottom. Not a lot, just a touch. Let's get in our Frosting line here. There. Okay. Yeah, this one's a disaster. Poor dude. He got smunched up when they were putting them together. That's the story. I'm sticking with it. He was a smunched one. Yeah, he's a little less um pretty than the other ones, right? Oops, that's way too dark. It can't all be pretty, right? I mean, it could. I just didn't work it out that way. <laughs> Is that a little better? I don't want to stop fussing with it because it's just getting worse and worse. Let's put in our little bit of shadow on the table. Just a skosh darker than it was. That's too much water again. Way too much water. Let's soften that out. A little more pure dioxazine. Just drop it in. Okay. 
Notice that. That helps. Okay, that helps kind of a lot, actually. Pull that out. Off the edge. Okay. I feel like it needs just... Our leaning tower of macaroons. All right, that's it. We're done with those. Oh my gosh! All right, I really didn't think I would be able to save these effectively at all. <laughs> Let's switch sides again, just so that the, the video is cohesive. But yeah, here's our, our little table o macaroons. Okay, that's a little better. Our leaning tower macaroons and then our little heart shaped macaroons. This one's very soft and subtle. I, now that it's done, I like it a little better. Definitely out of my comfort zone working strictly in pinks and, and purples. Um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below how these turned out. Everything's very pink this morning. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do a little close-up of each one, just that's what I do at the end of every piece. Yeah, these kind of turned out a little better than I thought. I mean, those colors, you guys. Jeez Louise. This one's really gotten away from me. It's alright. Then here's our little heart-shaped one. This one got a little sideways. You know how they s skid apart a little bit. <laughs> that's alright, though. All right, and there is our watercolor Wednesday piece. Woo! I'm gonna finish my coffee and do some sketching in my sketchbooks, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.